field elevation is 43 and we're going to be mid 80s today so we're probably density altitude of you know six seven thousand feet and this airplane will be making sea level horsepower which is just fantastic for backcountry operations that plus the lightweight uh, really makes it a winner for landing out in places like this out in the west the airplane's fast it has great cruise speed uh, typically we're seeing 130 to 140 mile an hour cruise speed uh, the airplane has a ton of useful load can have an up to an 1865 gross weight and uh, they're typically coming out the door at the factory weighing around 930 to 950 pounds uh, so if you keep it light the airplane actually has more useful load than the basic empty weight of the airplane it's an airplane that has taken us at cub crafters by surprise by how popular it's been we've been really blessed by that it's probably uh well, a third of the airplanes coming off the production line right now are carbon cub uls and as they're getting out in the field and more people are experiencing them and getting a chance to fly them, uh, it's even taken off more. The entry arrangements of the airplane. Uh, first thing you notice is that although it has a constant speed prop, it does not have a propeller control. And that's because it's a full FADEC control on the propeller. There's no mixture control, there's no propeller control. There's just the throttle that is go and slow and that's it. Wow. It's all managed by this RS Flight Systems EMU here. Uh, this is the engine management unit that controls the engine operations. So it takes what the pilot says it wants to do here and turns that into digital controls that there are digital signals that the engine can understand. This is a full featured uh, G3X uh, system in a smaller form factor. It's a seven inch uh, screen, but uh, it has all the same features as the regular G3X, all the same navigation features. Uh, the airplane has a full autopilot. Servos go on right here, but we don't have an autopilot head because we can control that digitally through the G3X and we can save that weight. Um, trig radio, trig transponder, uh, 10 watt radio and transponder, and again, those are the lightest weight ones on the market. That was really the overriding theme with building these airplanes, is how do we keep them light. Rest of the interior arrangements are the same as any other carbon cub, so compared to a super cub, it's a four inch wider cabin uh, than a super cub. It's taller, the door is about 40% bigger, uh, so ingress and egress, getting in and out of the airplane is a lot easier. Uh, it's got the rear seat that uh, folds up and stows away if you're just hauling cargo, or you can fold down and deploy it like it is here uh, to carry a passenger. Thank you much. Thank you, Brett.